So I've been debating about putting these panels in series and the Ace Volt is having a problem that may have made that decision for me. Let's talk about it. Now this is the second time that I've had an issue with this Ace Volt power station and the connectivity. I think the first issue was that the cable was the problem, but um, now I gotta show you something that's presenting a big problem for me. And it's, I'm all over the place. This is not a prepared video. I'm just taking you guys along with me live. So bear with me. Now there's a couple levels to this. One is why did it happen? I have no clue. The second is just getting power back into my power station, which is my first priority, not all this troubleshooting stuff that I may have to do anyway. So let me break down, let me show you what the problem is and we'll go from there. So I came down here you know, this is on a 400 watt array. And um, I was plugging my things up as usual. I have a ton of phones, get over it. <laughs> and it wasn't charging. Now, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So I tried to pull the wire out and the red one came out first, which is peculiar. This one I had to really tug on. And that's ultimately the problem. Look at that. There's some heat damage there. The thing is kind of warped. And there's even some heat damage here. Let me see if I can get you a little light. So that is damaged and that is damaged. Let's talk about my wires. This wire essentially comes in here right off of the porch. It has a, it's a couple wires actually. It has a extension right there, but that is a 10 gauge cable. That is a 10 gauge cable i'm pretty sure um no that looks a little different this actually might be 12 because that looks a little bigger now 12 gauge in my opinion is fine i won't get too caught up there because it's such a short length of cable it's probably like 20 foot to carry okay you know these panels are in parallel right parallel combines the amps put them in series combines the volts. So I've been thinking about that because these panels don't move and I've been wondering if I should just put them in series and I get to claim a cable or two back, probably one, because I won't need two sets of cables going down to each panel, which is how parallel works. The reason why I bring up the amps, those are like nine amp panels. Realistically, they produce about eight amps. So it's eight plus eight is 16. So that's 16 amps coming into this power station. This power station can take in 15 amps. So that's a good pairing in real life actuality. If I put them in series, 20 volts, 20 volts, 40 volts combines them. And then it would be just a 10 amp array, which I think might be better. And that's where I'm ultimately gonna land on today because I need to get this power back into this power station. Now, there's a whole nother layer to this. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's go ahead and get an amp reading. We have 15 amps coming in. So like I said, it's about eight and eight. Just for educational purposes, this is the volts coming off of those panels. 22 volts. So this joint has a max input of 50 volts. So if you double that, 22 plus 22, 44, so that should be fine. And that's what I'm gonna do next. So all I did was I flipped these panels over on this axis. So they're upside down now. It is as simple as that. I usually leave my outside leads open and then I do the two inside leads. Extension is in place. I'm gonna just flip these back over as best I can. I'll let them fall back down, not fall literally, but bring them back down and then run to my extension right here and then do some little quick cable management. We all connected up. Now let's go for the sake of science and go get some readings off of this, uh, this panel array before I hook it up. Now what should happen is it should be 40 volts, 10 amps, right? Right. Leads in 45, 46 volts. So that's right on, uh, Right on tap. Let's see if we uh, can get some amps. Also remember that this is open circuit voltage. I don't think you can measure amps open like this because no amps are going through the panel right now. So, you know, whatever. So I'm gonna have to pop it in and then do a clamp measurement on the amps coming in. So we'll get to that in a second. Hold on. But first, <laughs> let's see if I can actually get this back in here. <sighs> Should I even do it, man? I think so. So let's do it. Yeah. 
Now here's the problem. The problem is this could charge, but it had stopped charging. So I just want power coming back into here. So it looks like it's doing something. So that's a good sign. And now for our amp rating, I'm gonna try and kind of finesse this. Do I have that on right? Yeah, I think you kind of have to be careful not to have these things touching to get a good rating. 100 and 200, 240, 248. So it's going up and now I'm getting a typical seven, eight amps. Which if you remember before, we were looking at 15, close to 16 amps when they were in parallel. So I'd say this is operating the way that it's supposed to be. Now, one more thing. Actually, I'm getting like 273, which was a question I had. I wondered if I would get more solar input on series versus parallel. I don't think that this proves it because those panels were flipped over. So they were essentially cold or colder than being in the direct sun. So I have to monitor this over a few minutes, half hour or so to see if this makes a difference. So I'll give you guys an update on that in a second. I'm seeing pretty much the same-ish watts coming in and it's been a good 15 minutes. So it just dropped down 268, still hitting 270, 272. So I would say this is getting more power. That's what I would say. Like it's now even going up a little higher, 275. At this moment, all is well in the universe for now. These panels are hooked up in series. The power station can take series. <laughs> I ain't blew nothing up and it's getting power in. So that cable did melt. I don't expect it to do much melting at eight amps. Again, maybe it was a bad connection that caused it to have a problem. I don't know, but I'm just happy to have solar coming back in. I'm just keep it a buck. Ooh.